and uh, and uh, Chris Christie. It was seriously beautiful. It, it was. was seriously beautiful. It was. I don't. I mean, I don't know if everybody else felt. I'm sure Chris Matthews did, but there was some yeah. special magic. In the air, mm-hmm. you know, multiple was, tingles. No, oh, when he, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, the president, like a girl, goes up and throws, and he just he can't, can't do it. He can't do five it. Five throws of the football to the t- through the tire. He can't right. get it through. But then the husky boyfriend comes yeah. in, the athletic, he, yeah, and he, th- you know, he throws, man, yeah, he throws it and he gets it and he wins right the through. bear for mm-hmm. the. You know, a lot of people would say, Chris Christie, this isn't really a good moment for you. Uh, those are the haters. Will probably, Glenn. Those yes, are the haters. Those are the ones who that. can't accept their love. Yes, exactly. And, exactly um, right. And, uh, and of course, that's not us. No. We're happy about their love. Oh, I'm thrilled. Yeah. It was Chris Christie. It was Chris Christie porn. I'm mm-hmm. glad to know that, that in advance. Let's I am put too. it that way. I'm glad to have it out in the open. We have now, we don't have to think about the policies. You know, we can just watch them gla- but grasping it, hands as they does it, give does each it other make a bear. It, does it make it? We really thought that Chris Christie was a smart guy. And it turns out he is. Look at them holding hands on the way to the airport. I know. They literally are holding hands. They're holding hands. hands. Are they not? Is that not holding hands? What are they doing there in that picture? Now, optical illusion. On no, radio, no, something. No, he might have his hand it, somewhere else in that picture. Where? Where? <laughs> Where are the hands hands there? Seems like they both have the hand in the pocket is what it seems like. It's a little weird. It's a a disturbing. Well, uh, the president addressed it today, too. Uh, And this is part of the news, Jeffy, so don't get all excited uh, about $40 because there's more to it. Here it is. uh, The incredible uh, warmth of uh, the reception. Uh, A a sign of the warmth is the lipstick on my collar. Which, of course, came from Chris Christie. Christie. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. I didn't think he was the girl in the relationship. Well, uh, I guess he does from time to time enjoy uh, a nice shade of uh, lipstick. Right. Yeah, you don't need to be a girl to wear lipstick. No, you don't have to. Oh, I don't mean to judge. Yeah. Right. Thank I don't you. know who am I to judge. <laughs> Thank you. So exactly. Exactly right. Of I mean, you. you're wearing makeup, right? Yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. wearing makeup. Every day. Yeah. Jeffy, you wearing makeup? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, hey, to each his own. Exactly. You may be driving your truck and go, I don't like guys who are wearing makeup. Well... We're man enough to wear it. Now, mm-hmm. some people will say it's because we're on TV. Is it? Or do we just like it? I mean, is, is it, it just nice? Is it just make you feel nice? I don't know. I mean, you know, you know? if mm-hmm. I happen to be snuggling up against the president on the drive mm-hmm. to the boardwalk, mm-hmm. and I'm like... I might put on some lipstick. I might put on some lipstick, and I'm like, I won that bear for you, tiger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something a little frilly, maybe? Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, now, seriously. That's nice. Close your eyes for a second. Okay. Think of... Think mm-hmm. of... Of uh, Chris Christie, okay, oh yeah, in like a, a sheer teddy. Mm. Mm. That's more of a grizzly. I, love I don't think you can fit that in a teddy. I think more of a grizzly of fat bear. fill out that teddy. Oh yeah, oh, baby, oh, oh baby, yeah. oh yeah. And he could keep like a beer under one fold. fold. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a sandwich make, under another fold. Yeah, yeah he could, might be able to keep some Doritos in between his cheeks. The good thing Wait, is, you're like, <laughs> uh, let me just reach. Nice. Are you trying to hug me? And I'm just trying to get my hand in that Dorito. Now, if you put yeah, just right, a bag of Doritos between your cheeks. If you put a, let's say, a, a, a cheese sandwich in one oh, of the yeah. folds, oh, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cheese yeah. sandwich in one could, of the folds. You could melt the cheese. You run around, you turn it into a grilled cheese. Right. Mm-hmm. See? It's, well, not a grilled cheese as much as just the melted cheese mm-hmm. and kind of a soggy bread. Yeah. <laughs> it's still. It's still. It's still. It's still. It's, it's, it's made with melted, love. It's right? made it's with love. It's made with love. Extra made with love. salty. Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's a natural salt, too. It is. It's not that Yeah, that no, Bloomberg's not. Bloomberg is not upset about that. No, he's not. And neither is Michelle. You know, nope. if Michelle found nope. out that uh, her husband was having soggy cheese bread, she'd be okay. She'd be okay. Well, look with at it. there they are again uh, on the beach, wa- on the uh, just walking arm, arm. arm in arm. Arm what? arm. Did they seriously? What the hell is, is that? Going what they on? did all day is really? hold hands and walk around the beach. Yes, uh, hug. I believe. Held hands. I believe they're in love. I believe they did have a conversation about freshness at one point. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the beach. Yeah, they might as well. Summer's mm-hmm. Eve. Mm-hmm. That's another commercial that needs to be made, Stu. <laughs> a Summer's Eve All commercial. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is the... I mean, I don't know who is... You know, besides the Tea Party, because remember, he is going to run for president. He's going to run for president. And he is... I mean, he's a progressive. We know it. Um, and, you know, when we when we thought he was really smart long ago, when we were talking about Chris Christie corn, porn, because he was he would take on the labor unions... And the teachers' unions. And we asked at the time, how is he getting away with this? How is he getting away with this? 
because he's actually making an impact here. Yeah. He's actually saying the things and making an impact. How is he doing it in New Jersey? Now we know. Now we know. He's not really. They knew him they a knew lot him. better than we did. Yep. And remember, we used to say he's not coming on because he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want any of our taint on him. And we were like, mm-hmm. we're cool with that. Don't ever. The guy never returned our phone calls and never did anything. We thought that nah, he's being smart. No. No, I really think he wouldn't come on here because he knows we'd expose him. We would have exposed him long ago. You would have given us a chance to spend time with him. We would have exposed him that fast. Just as we did with Newt Gingrich. They didn't want none of that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, he's exposed himself now. I, I, and I guess Ugh. it's too late. He's already Ugh. been reelected. Is that another thing that happened yesterday on the walk of the beach? He exposed himself, yeah. of course. Yeah, of course. I was under the boardwalk. There's a lot of that. Walk. After Got the bear. Yeah. I'm your teddy bear. Mm-hmm. Come here, here, you big huggable hunk. Ooh. <laughs> Who is in their PR department? That is awful. I mean, they just seriously did a giddy schoolgirl video of those two together on the beach. I mean, yeah. it's unbelievable they did that. It does look like a date. Yeah. It looks like a high school sweetheart's date that they had yesterday. Now, again, like I'm gonna, said here. earlier, you've got to tour the, the damage and see where the federal dollars went and how it helped the shore get back up and going. But you don't have to do this kind of stuff. And you don't have no. to and do why is this, to go why is this happening now? Why is this happening now? This is happening at the height of the scandal. Yeah. This yes. is, once again, and remember, Christie's helping he him. came in. Christie came in when he was really hurting at the very end and helped him. Now he's having a hard time with the scandal again, and he's helping him again. Dead to me. He's yeah. dead to me. And people are saying, too, like, oh, well, the Jersey Shore is important to New Jersey, and that's what Christie's doing. Yeah, he's kissing can, up, but for money, no, that's the problem with mm-hmm. America. Mm-hmm. Right there. Like, well, yeah, but this particular beach is important to me. Therefore, billions and billions should come and Look, we should kiss each other's ass can over I, it. No, no, no. Can I, can I tell you something? If the president was coming in because, um, you know, Dallas, Texas was destroyed by, you know, tornadoes. And I'm the, you know, I'm the mayor or the governor of Texas. Well, would Rick Perry yeah. cavort with uh, he would the president absolutely all day long. go with. He would go. He would go with him, and he would yeah. be kind and friendly and professional. Yeah, but aloof. But he would not be throwing a football to win the president a cute little teddy bear. Yeah, it, it doesn't end That's with them insane. rolling around on the ground in a tickle fight. I would love to ask Rick about that. We should get him on the phone and talk to him about how he would comport himself if the president came and, and similarly similarly he, didn't he come He's recently done. he yes. gave him like a book that was critical of one of his positions mm-hmm. or remember yeah. this mm-hmm. or he yeah. had a, it was a letter was a letter it? yeah a letter yes, right. but yeah, he came just recently and the president wouldn't even remember the look at it the president came the president came here recently to quote learn about economic viability in texas what the hell was that all about i mean look what the president is doing he gets in trouble don't you remember this is like four weeks ago the president came down yeah. to Texas. Did, did we Perry had hang out with him. I don't remember. No, that. he didn't hang out with him, but no. he went with him to show him different things. But they weren't cavorting, you know, cavort, uh, cavorting. They didn't on go the, to Six Flags together. No, they weren't like, hey, you don't want to go down to Corpus Christi and hang out on the beach. <laughs> no, what? I don't. I want to go to the I have a job. Want to go to the aquarium? <laughs> no, I Just sit there and look at the fish. You say you? we go clubbing. No, I'm <laughs> disturbed by that. But you're, yeah, as your job as a governor, together. if the president comes, you meet him and you yes. you are respectful. Well, you have to. But this is way beyond that. This is this is a buddy film. Yeah, it's like a really crappy. Yeah, it's buddy like movie. it's like Stand by Me. Yeah, it's uh, like Jake and the Fat Man. <laughs> Remember that show? I don't know. That was a great show, show, Jake and the Fat Man. It's like the Fat Man and the Liar. Yeah, William Godwin. Well, that wasn't. That's not a show, but that is what it's like. That's what it's like. But it's yeah, that's actually more appropriate than Jake. Yes, you know, he's not Jake. No, (laughs) but there is a Fat Man. (laughs) Yes, and you might have a responsibility to meet the uh, to meet the president, and you might have a responsibility to obviously talk about the day. You can talk about the 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 fixes that have been made to the shore in your office. You don't need to yeah. go play game. Even if you yeah, want to walk the true. boardwalk, you can do that. But that's a photo op. You want to go and, and, and adding Again. on stupid boardwalk games and eating cotton I'm candy off the same stick of cotton candy and licking the thing all the way. That is not part of your job as governor. 
You've gone beyond it. I thought it went too far when their tongues met. Yeah. Yeah. For three minutes? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can understand you making a mistake there. And the tongues bump, but I mean, for yeah. three full <laughs> minutes. Tongues bump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But when you they linger your for tongue three minutes and 45 seconds, you're right. That's yeah. excessive. It's Even excessive. three minutes flat, I think, is excessive. Yeah. 345, and it was really 348. It, okay. It's a little long. I was rounding. Yeah, I know. I'm not calling you out there. I'm just saying it's just a long time. <laughs> Did you see the gaze that they looked at? They looked at each other, and they, as uh-huh. as Stu pointed out earlier on the show, they high five each other and then kind of grasp hands yeah, like a clasp. Yeah. Oh is, yeah, uh, oh yeah. Mm. I tell you, this this bear means so much to me. <laughs> mm. Seriously, look at the, we're showing it on the Blaze. dot com slash TV right Christie's now. face huh. as he's gazing into. Ob- the president's eyes. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was close. Close, mm-hmm. close but okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Just is... turn it on real quick and then turn it off because it wasn't actually a violation, but it was it was close enough to get that. It's a yeah, little just, bit light. It's a little, little bit light. It was really close. It was really close. <laughs> really close. But uh, I wish we had the other angle to see how the president is gazing into his eyes because... Oh, you know. You want to see it's reciprocal, right? Oh, no, it was. It oh, was. Yeah. It was, had it was, to be. It, it, come on. Put that picture back up. You don't think he's saying right now, yum, yum, give me <laughs> some. Give me some fat man. Yeah. Right give now. me some right. I'm going sli- to slice off a piece of Christy pie. <laughs> this is interesting, though, because the, you think Christy would would not want this to happen. But I think he's convinced himself. I think he revels in it. Yeah, he gets, he's convinced himself. It, it helps him in the state because yep. it's almost mm-hmm. all Democrats. So mm-hmm. he sits there and says, well, they like me hanging out with the president. I'm and, bipartisan. I can reach bipartisan. across the aisles. And I think he was so confident in that. <laughs> That the criticisms were wrong, he was fine with this little jaunt through the park. Well, it uh, works it, to his advantage. It looks bad now. It works to his advantage if this president goes out of office on a high. If this Chewing president gang? goes he's back out, out of, gang? no, if no. it actually, if this president, I have, I haven't gotten past if this president actually leaves office. No. Okay. <laughs> but if this president leaves office and he is not Chum Gang, but but on a on a on a upward swing, mm-hmm. and everything was great. Then Christy looks like I wasn't part of those haters, man. I, I'm just like you. I mean, it is a calculated but, risk. But I mean, again, he'll find the same lesson taught to him that was taught to John McCain. Yep. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't the matter how much you've kissed him. the ass of the media for yeah. hundreds of years. They will turn on you the here second your, you're the nominee. Here are your choices. This is the GOP choice. The GOP right now is giving us the choice of Marco Rubio or Chris Christie. Those will be your two choices. Well, the Rand Paul is going to run. Oh, no, that's not a GOP choice. No, it's, they're, no not, they're, they're not going to Rand like Paul, Rand Paul, they'll do everything they can He'll to destroy him. He'll be the outsider. That, He'll be the outsider, and they'll do everything yeah. they can to destroy him. And that's why you have to make your decision on, uh, quite honestly, Marco Rubio right now. I mean, we know who Chris Christie is. Now who's Marco Rubio? Warning bells are going off all over the place on him, too. Um, big time. Yeah, we're we're working on a story for next week on Marco Rubio that... Um, um, it doesn't look good. Well, I will say the, you know, again, I know this is a false choice and one we should not accept, but if you, the choice is Marco Rubio or Chris Christie, I'm voting for Marco Rubio. Sure. Yeah. There's a, but again, choice. We don't, yeah. need, and we don't, don't need to allow that choice, by the no. way. I no, mean, don't. what you need to do you need to shore up people, um, uh, like Rand Paul now. Yeah. You know, you need to, you need mm-hmm. to do, you need to do your homework right now on these guys before the machines kick in.